All right, welcome back to Learn Wire. This will be a shorter video. I just want to show you the long form, the new long form editor in PepperType. Before I go and start doing comparisons, the next video, you guys, will be PepperType versus Word Hero. That one is the most uh, top requested video next. So I will be looking at that tomorrow in the next video, but today just wanted to go over, I, I believe that it probably deserves its own little five to 10 minute video. So we're gonna jump into PepperType and I don't know uh, how much you would call it a long, long form editor compared to other tools like Jasper and Word Hero and such. Uh, but they do, it, it may uh, increase your workflow and speed up your workflow, um, which is pretty cool. So we'll leave it up to you guys to decide if you think that it's, um, you know, worth uh, them adding or not. So let's jump in. I'm just going to lead off by saying that I just don't think that it's mind blowing what they've added. Uh, and I don't know, I don't think it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to add a feature like this. Uh, but it all it is a cool concept uh, nonetheless so i've already written a full article right here okay so this is the literally the long form editor okay uh if you will i'm going to call it the long form editor they don't call it the long form editor and when you look at it this is it's in beta right now right um it's not up here at the top or anything like that it's just this little note section right here that that just kind of carries around the software with you you can click it at any time or you can push the control uh, plus the e button so control e on my keyboard and it just pops open and you can see right here uh it's not going to save and that's another thing that is kind of interesting i wish that they would have a little save button up here but you can change h1 to h4 and standard text great bold italicize underline strike through and your alignment and that's it so it's just a basic basic text editor nonetheless it is really to just kind of um, and you're going to see it in a second how you can also use it a different way uh, but um, there is no you can push this clear button which i'm going to do in a minute but you you can't push the save button right and so if i come over here and we go to recent activity i wrote that art this article yesterday actually when it came out um so you can see all the history this is how i used it to write i'm going to show you a demonstration of that in a sec and saved copies anything that i've saved poll questions right so it's not uh saving it for us right so when you come over here if i go and push this clear button or delete anything in here it's gone it's just a very temporary it's a temporary holding slot for your text. Now, um, I'll get to a thought in a second. Don't want to get too in depth without showing you. Okay. So I'm going to go and control a control copy. And I do need to go and, um, throw this into a text editor. Um, and it also doesn't have word count over here. So if you're using it to write articles, you're not going to have the word count. Uh, with you as well. Okay. So I just wrote this article. You guys can see it's really nice in here and the quality is really good. And pepper type is one of probably one of the highest quality outputs that, that, uh, you can get. And so that is what makes it uh, stand out, um, above most of the other AI writers that I've seen. So it can take pretty technical topics and still stay on point. So I'm going to push the clear button guys. So we're on clear. Okay. Now what we're going to do is going to, we're going to go and write something. Okay. So first of all, we're going to go to blog ideas and let's just say we want to write something about, let's just do something completely different today. How to decor, decorate, um, the inside of your house, something like that. Right. Um, write the top, uh, five, uh, let's see, top five tips for decorating the inside of your house. So how to top five tips for how to decorate the inside of your house. Something like that, right? We're going to say create content and here we go. So it's creating content. Everything looks the same right now. Okay. Um, let's see a few furniture tips, flooring tips, tips on picking flooring and ways to get the job done. Okay. So we're just going to go with this for now. Okay. So I'm going to copy this one right here. I'm going to push save just so I don't lose it, but here's where we dive in. And what you do is you click on this, a little hamburger icon and let's see right here. Whoops. You click the note button. Okay. Yeah. So right there. When you're inside of the, uh, like, I guess I'm going to call it power mode, but when you're inside one of the tools, okay, if you click the note button, 
then it's going to pop up inside of the software. And now you can start working from left to right. So we can put in our uh, flooring tips, uh, tips on picking flooring and ways to get the job done. We can take this and we can make this the H1 title. Now I'm going to push return. And then what we're going to do is come back over here, open over up right here, and we're going to go with a blog intro. Okay, so then we're going to go and just put this in right here and see what it can come up with for us. And you push click. So now you guys can see that this is pretty much the uh, extent of what you're going to get with the tool. You're going to get just a, a place to copy and paste. Now, when it comes to flooring, your business or home is just blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to focus too, too much on uh, the quality, which this does look like a good paragraph. So we're just going to keep it. We're not going to do spend too much time on that. We've got our intro paragraph. And now what we want to do is just come click over here, right? And then we want to go into our blog outline, which would be over here. And you can just work your way um, from left to right and just use the tools that they have in there. And so there's a little bit of copying and pasting. But um, at the end of the day, this is not going to take, it's going to be a, a, what I would call a little bit more active, if you will, uh, a little bit more copying and pasting than you will in certain other tools. Um, even inside of Jasper in the long form editor, it's just, there's nothing that really compares, uh, quite compares to Jasper where you can literally just push a button and it just continues to stay on topic and keep, continues to write your content for you. Uh, but this does allow you to uh, manually make it stay on topic, right? And that's what I like about PepperType. Um, and so it's just a little bit different way of doing it, right? And if you want to get out of this at any time, you can just click that and look um, look here. And so let me interject before I'm, I'm going to go ahead and finish the article out and show you guys what you can do real quickly. But if you have a second screen, so if you have dual monitors, this really is not a major feature added in my opinion um if you you know because because you can just stay out of here and you can grab this push copy and then go over to your other monitor and paste it into microsoft word or the google docs um, editor and you know one thing that that's actually an advantage of is that you're going to have the word count right and so let me move this um i opened up microsoft word okay and I pasted this in here. So let me go into view one page. Okay. So we have, uh, it's nicely outlined. This is great. And you can see down here, we're at 1189 words. And this probably took me about six minutes to write all this in pepper type. And this was yesterday. So this gives you the finished result of what you're going to see. And by pasting it into word, um, you get, you automatically get how many words you have. And so you could have this just in your other, um, screen or monitor and it'll work great too. Now, I think that if you don't have dual monitors set up at your workstation, that I do think that this does come in handy and absolutely you'll use it. I do think it is a good added feature. Um, not going to say that it's not right. So I do think it's a good added feature. Great. Good job. Pepper type. But I think that this is people have been waiting for this for the entire time for them to do something with long form editing. Now, uh, you can write and type inside here and then just keep going in on to the left and getting stuff. So um, but there isn't anything in here where you can, you know, say write more or anything like that. So you guys let me know in the comments below, like, what do you think about this? Is this game changing? Is it just uh, a nice feature added, but, or is it really just kind of, I mean, are there some of you that think that this is almost kind of pathetic, right? Um, is this really like not <laughs> what are, what value are they adding? Right. So I'm going to leave you guys to, uh, leave some comments below what you guys think of this. So let's go and grab this outline right here. I'm just going to say copy and you can, and I'm going to try to go really fast right now. Okay. So we're going to grab this right here. Then you're going to come over here and then you're going to go to the blog heading expander is the one that you're going to use the most um, inside of um, pepper type to create your content. And then you grab this and then this is the headline right there. And then you're going to create the content. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to format this. And so you guys can see how I do this. Okay. And then I'm going to grab these four, um, just the four tips right here. I'm going to make them H2. Okay. And then I'm going to grab, um, so we're just going to grab this and just kind of skim through it, uh, choosing a floor, uh, what should you pick? 
and it ends on a sentence, that's great too. So all those little things, it does save time. If it ends on a, on a, on a sentence, you don't have to go and finish or do anything like that. Um, so it did actually make that an H2. So I do need to come back in here and just make that standard text. Okay, so then we grab this next one right here and it's super easy when you get to this point, you can just push the back button or the edit details. It's gonna keep all everything right here. And all you do is just grab that and push the content creation button. So this is where you're gonna really see how you can kind of fly with creating content in pepper type. And you'll see right here, oh, I'm gonna keep talking through this. It just literally just keeps going. It's very fast. So um, how you get the right flooring for your home, looking for the right flooring for your home and it ends perfect. We're looking good here. And I'm going to just paste up so that for whatever reason, it's just pasting. So one uh, tip behind what you can do here is actually, um, I'm going to show you, you can grab these two right here and just make them uh, standard. Then come back in here, grab this one right here. And we're going to go to, you can create more outputs there. We're going to um, edit the details, grab number three here. So far it's staying on topic really well. It's good quality content and it's very fast. So there's a lot, a lot of really good things that you can say about pepper type. Um, it is one of my favorites. Someone asked me if I'm going to put it on my top recommended lists. And, um, you know, that's something that I probably am going to, I really, really like pepper type. So I do need to probably put it in my top recommended tools uh, in the link below, uh, because I do think that this is a really, really good tool. So, uh, let's see right here. Boom. It did not create that time. And then we're talking about how to install the flooring and it's talking about installing flooring and we're going to go like that and just put that in right there. And we've got our last little bit right here. Like I said, you can push the back button. It's the same thing. And then just to change the heading out and push create content. So you can see it's very, very fast. Uh, literally just point and click copy and paste done. I do think that it is nice to have this on the right hand side to just get everything set up for you. Um, okay. So what are the benefits of your new flooring Flooring changes, the entire look and feel. So that is some good content there. We're going to stick with the conclusion right there. Um, just for, to save time, but you can put your cursor right here and make this an H2. So this is what I recommend doing is just doing the H2s, um, um, when you're done and you've got yourself a nice article, right? So we can take this control a control copy, just go to a word counter tool. Um, we can also paste it into Microsoft Word to get the word count as well. Um, so we've got 700 word article. Um, very quickly, within minutes, you can have a very nice on point um, article written, okay? Uh, last thing I'm gonna do is go to Copyscape. I like to do these tests whenever I can remember to, and we're gonna check this um, as well. So no results found. So you got 100% unique content pepper types writing. You've got a very fast way of doing it. Um, you you really can't go wrong with this. Um, a lot of people are gonna just are wondering like, hey, do I get Word Hero or do I get Pepper Type? Well, I have both, and I have the the, the top tier of both plans. So uh, it's, I'm kind of I don't know if I'm the right person to ask. I really like both tools. It depends on which way you like to do your workflow. Stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe um, for tomorrow's video where I will be uh, writing an article like this and doing a side-by-side -side comparison with Word Hero. And maybe during that actual um, experiment that I'll be doing, maybe I will have a clear winner. And uh, if I do feel like one is a clear winner, I will um, just, it'll, it's just one opinion, right? Out of many. Um, but I will let you guys know. But right now I can't really say because um, I really do love both tools. Um, as you can see right here, you can just move out of this. You can go to home, but just remember and make sure that uh, you go in here and grab your content, control A, control C to copy, copy all that and go put it into uh, your other editor. Um, because once you um, go in here and push the clear button, then it's gone and the content's gone. Like I just did that. And there's no undo button either. So that's something that they probably need to do an undo button inside of this little editor here. And they also probably need to do some type of save. Um, I think uh, feedback, hopefully pepper types watching this. I think that a, a saved notes feature uh, really needs to be added. So there should be a saved notes feature up here. So you can always go back in and look at the different versions of notes that you've had. Okay. There's other ways that you could probably use this as well, right? So if you were doing um, something like Amazon product description, and you say that you, um, uh, let's just do men's beard 
trimmer. Um, with really good price, just something really quick there. And let's just say you're going and you're gonna um, do some postings for a different, uh, you know, maybe you're, you have a client that you're working on some stuff, maybe you wanna take some notes, but then you're gonna come in and you're gonna use a different uh, set of tools. So we're gonna go back to home. Maybe you're gonna go in and now you're gonna do like a headline and you come in and do some more work and maybe you're uh, pasting that in there, right? So I think the notes uh, editor is very clean and very, fast and very simple and that could be a really good thing as well so that is the notes editor um, again you know look at all the different modules you get in pepper type you just really can't go wrong uh, with the, the amount of modules and options and uh, the type different types of content it's very very um, flexible um, and there are a lot of different pieces of content that you can write inside of PepperType. So make sure that you tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's video, PepperType versus Word Hero. Um, if you're interested in going and picking up PepperType right now, uh, luckily they came back for a lifetime deal on AppSumo and uh, you don't want to miss it. Uh, this is definitely one of the best AI writers that came out in 2021. Luckily they are back right now, probably the last time and you can go pick up a lifetime deal from them right now with the link below. I'll see you in the next video.